The following match is set for one fall, and is your sovereign main event of the evening. Please welcome to the ring. Can you focus on the ring? In the ring? For the main event? Uh, it's Sandy Garcia. Great. 6.9, weight 294. Facing off against Marco Todoroshi. Marco Todoroshi. He came with black hometown land of the rising sun. I guess that is Japan. Weight 6.4 and weight 228. Okay guys, I'm back, I'm back. Who we got? Uh, we got in the ring. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, do you mind if I uh, announce the next one? I already did by mistake. Oh, don't worry about it, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Looks like his hair leaves his own life. Oh, it's a dragon! Sorry, my fault. Looks like Xander's ready though. Ooh, look at that ring drop kick doesn't do anything to Xander, just bounced off him like a bag of cement. Um just fell to the ground pretty pretty rough there, but okay. Xander's quick to pick him up. Ooh, look at the strength. Look at the strength. It's like it's like watching it, watching him work uh, Mako over there. It's like going around his body, grabbing him, pulling him in these different holds. Just an absolute tactician that uh, Xander Garcia is, and it's the kind of quality he brings to the ring. It doesn't look like he's got a lot of friends here, though. Well, it's up to the people. Who say want to cheer? Who say don't want to cheer? Yay! Lee Lee Castle's behind Xander. Oh, 
Oh, that's yes. an Irish whip. Sorry. Yes. It's fine. Oh god, huge close line by the X Factor. Sand Marco down on the floor. <laughs> I can I guess man, well done, Jan. Um it doesn't look like uh, he's uh, he's I uh, did with a name like Pawn Step, you I, I don't know if I don't know if you should you should you should be doing, doing any of that. Uh, anyway, now it looks like uh, Xander is working uh, make 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 wool uh, down to the ground there. Well, I I you know as much as I like Xander, um, I also like M Maku as an in-ring performer. I like his his strong style. But uh, you know, I'm not sure if you have seen the interview on our YouTube page early on. As no, I have no, you yeah. we'll have to check that out. Uh, we got a uh, link to that that they can watch after. Yeah, sure. There's a series of Muay Thai kicks and roundhouse kicks uh, there to Xander, which he wasn't expecting. Well, as I was saying, uh, the 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 sniper Brian Bennett who faced off against. Marco, Marco, Marco uh, a week ago. Oh, don't don't had, struggle. Had uh, some hot words for his former trainer, Sandra Garcias, and calling him like a, you know, like an opener, a loser. What was all that about? What was all that about, really? I mean, Xander was out there supporting Brian. He was giving him everything. He, you know, he was trying to cheer him on. Uh, being a great sportsman, and then Brian just turned around and was a, well, basically, he was a big douche. Uh, but right in the ring here, we've got this armbar takedown by Xander, and it looks like he's firmly applied in the center of the ring. James is keeping an eye on it. He could actually submit to this armbar right here. It is a possibility. Of course, it's a possibility if he's branching it in deep enough, but uh, it looks like as if Maku is uh, trying to get out of the hole, and they are both back on their feet. Does look like it's slowly taking its toll on uh, Mako. Uh, Mako. Um, it's, uh, but he, he's managed to pull in there a lovely jawbreaker, which uh, Zana was not expecting, taking him clean off his feet. James uh, overlooks to watch that everything's going that is legit. Well, as I was saying earlier, Zana's uh, uh, got called basically a loser and uh, just an opening opening act. And now he got the opportunity to face off against Mako and, uh, you know, prove Brian Bennett won, as this is not only the main event, but he also has a chance to win the match and show off Brian Bennett that actually battered. He does, he does. You know, if he can beat him, he's going to have a, a lot of talking to, to do when he gets backstage. On the same time, it's also a big shame, uh, chance for Mako to win his first match here at Kingdom of Wrestling in his second main event. Well, yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been doing very well for the main events here. As pointed out, yeah, it is his second main event. But he has got a, you know, he's got a gear, he's got a good history, he's a strong wrestler, so, you know, you, 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 you save the best for last, and here it is. We've got Xander and uh, Mako right in the ring, in the middle of the middle of the middle of the ring. I hope. I don't know how this dragon gets... Well, between the talks of dragon, hard, cement, tossing, and all the rest of the comments been there, we're, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not going to mention dragons. We're just going to leave that out. Yes, get him, make more of that. Make more noise. And there's talking about dragons, here's the dragon's fury. That was a nice kick. It was. It was a beautiful kick. Nice ability. CG there getting behind Xander. There's a pin. Only only a two. Now we ain't seen the best of, we haven't seen the end of this match yet. We're just coming up to the second half, trust me. There's plenty more in the both of these people's tanks. And he's sending a lot of love towards Meho. Meiko, Miku, Maha, Mihu. A lot of love towards him. There's a leg lock right in the center of the ring here. Again, this could be it. This could be enough to make uh, Xander Garcia uh, tap. I mean, has he skipped leg day? We're about to find out.
Whoa, with a <laughs> coming back with a uh, response to that leg lock here with the old Texas clover leap. Well, we shouldn't forget that uh, Sanu is from El Paso, Texas. So, but uh, homage to his hometown. Oh, He's a uh, trying to get away there. He's chasing him around the ring. Ian, Ian letting off that hole for no one. Marco is trying to get out of the hold. Trying maybe to reverse it off. Yep. <coughs> He's just trying to do anything. He's wriggling around like a snake, but uh, Xander's locked that in hard. That's the move that he, he does when he's chasing down bulls and he holds bulls down. This is the same lock, it's the Texas Clover League. Well, the ref just told him a rope break and Santa guess he just breaks the ropes. So uh, I mean, what you gotta say about Sander. He does follow the rules, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a very fair competitor in the sport and that's why the fans like him. Well, not today. But most of the time, uh, there's a front face lock, which is a great controlling maneuver to get your uh, wrestler into a position that you need him to be in for your next move. It's always a setting up move. So you'll always see the front face lock, or, or you know, a head lock, or sometimes a wrist lock is a good position mover. It'll get you into position ready for your big, uh, big move you want to perform. And right here, we're going to see it. Is the wrist lock He's winding up? He's winding up, boys. There's a series of wrist locks. Don't, 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 don't for breaking to peer pressure, mate. Don't, don't, don't feel like you need to. Ooh, look at that shoulder breaker. Talking about pulling on the shoulder, finishing up with a shoulder breaker. Yeah, he's, if there was going to be a broken shoulder, that's the move to do it. Alright, we flip to the corner. Zan primed and ready like a steam train. That hulking monstrosity, that monk hulking monstrosity, is going to travel across that ring. And here he goes, full speed ahead. Boom! Oh, what wow. happened? He took the corner. He, he, when he hit the corner, he hit it that hard. The sparks flew off it. Oh my wow, God! Jesus. I think I think he got some of the pyro in his eyes. Yep, that's not good. That is not a good time. But it looks like there might have been a malfunction there with the um, with one of the pyros. He, he went in for the punch. Yeah, it's it, it set off and he can't see. No. You smell a sniper, do you, Mark? What does the sniper smell like? I don't know. And I smell a sniper. But Nico is using the opportunity that lays in front of him. Uh, nice, nice move. What a nice move. What a nice kick. And that kick was called, if this thing is... Where's yeah. that Bennett douche? Well, he's oh, certainly not out here tonight. It's a goal for him. No, I think he's unfinished. Oh my god, he hit a hard knee strike. Oh, another Ooh. hard knee strike. It looks mean. It really looks mean. You can pronounce this finishing move. Oh my god, and now he went for a bot plus a kick. And he goes for the pin. One, that's a one, that's two, a two, that's a three. three! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we got a winner here. Winner of the main event is the dragon, Marco Totoroshi. Oh yes. By the way, I've been informed by the dragon's name is, I can tell you later. You can pronounce it actually. Here you go. Here you go, John. There's the dragon's name. Knock yourself out. Shigen Kagi. There you go. Well done, John. But I smell something fishy, Mark. Do you smell something fishy? Is that what the sniper smells like? Do you smell I fishy? Think... Yeah, well, I don't know what the problem was with the... Uh, you know, I just uh... think it was a malfunction. Things like that happen all the time. Like, you know, I, I've been hit desks falling to bits. Um, you see, I, uh, I'm i not informed that we have actually a pyro, you know? It's oh, not look as that. We, we are... Both. We don't, we don't have pyro, so I don't know what's happened. You talk well, about man, man function, as long as you keep up with man function. Alright. But, but how can it be a malfunction?